Hello and welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion, popularly known as SIADH. So we are going to discuss what is SIADH, what are the causes of SIADH, what could be the salient clinical features of SIADH, and how do we treat SIADH. All this will be dealt with in this presentation. So SIADH uh, causes excess ADH secretion. Excess ADH causes a resorption of excessive amount of water, thereby it results in hyponatremia. So the most important feature is hyponatremia that gives rise to majority of the clinical features of SIADH. SIADH uh, causes uh, R secretion of ectopic ADH. So there is a bunch of paraneoplastic syndrome in, involved and the most common cause being uh, the small cell carcinoma of the lung which along with uh, ADH it can also secrete ACTH and a variety of other substances can also be elaborated by small cell carcinoma. So excess ADH is secreted uh, by ectopic uh, secretion. Legionella pneumonia when it becomes disseminated and involves the brain it can cause SIADH. Various drugs can have an effect on ADH secretion. So chloropropamide, carbamazepine and uh, cyclophosphamide and some antidepressants can also be used uh, can also be cause of SIADH. Various infections and uh, trauma to the brain, psychiatric illness, these are some important causes of SIADH. The important consequence of SIADH due to hyponatremia are cerebral edema and the resultant neurological dysfunction and it is worthwhile noting that the total body water is increased blood volume remains normal and the peripheral edema does not uh, develop so in this uh, patients the total body water though it may be increased because of adh and uh, adh excess and increased water resorption but there is decrease in the thirst so body tries to maintain uh, normal water uh, make a normal make a compensatory mechanism by decreasing the thirst so the total body water uh, remains uh, total blood volume may remain normal and as such uh, there is no significant edema developing in SIADH patient but hyponatremia uh, can cause uh, cerebral edema that is uh, the worrying uh, worrying uh, clinical symptom uh, worrying clinical feature in case of SIADH excess cerebral excess of uh, water uh, excess of sodium in the neural cells can uh, cause cerebral edema so there is hyponatremia and uh, hyponatremia in the serum thereby causing increased intracellular sodium and uh, thereby causing increased water uh, reabsor reabsorption and thereby causing neurological dysfunction now how do we uh, manage uh, the siadh SIADH uh, can be managed uh, by uh, giving demiclocycline, which induces an nephrogenic state of diabetes insipidus. This, uh, this uh, demiclocycline uh, makes uh, uh, the collecting duct uh, and uh, the ductal tubules uh, unresponsive to the ADH action and thereby causing uh, kind of a nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. There are other some spe specific uh, um, antagonists for uh, ADH or vasopressin that are also available like weptins and hypertonic uh, saline should be administered if there is a significant hyponatremia and that uh, relieves the CNS uh, symptoms largely. So let's have a quick recap. SIADH means excess water and there is excess water uh, resorption uh, because of excess ADH. The important causes are ectopic ADH secretion. There is, uh, there is infections, there are traumas, there are drugs that are implicated. Hyponatremia is the most uh, significant uh, biochemical alteration because of the excess water. And uh, that uh, brings the cerebral edema and neurological uh, dysfunction. ADH antagonist, demiclocycline and hypertonic saline. These are being used for the treatment of SIADH. Thank you. Th uh, thank you for the patient hearing. And... Uh, uh, please don't forget to share your valuable feedback and please share, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.